Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. I'm pretty sure I got that out right. Uh, <laughs> and this is going to be our trailer reaction to Black Widow. Right. Finally, ScarJo gets her standalone Marvel movie. Is it a movie or a show? No, it's a sh it's a movie. Is it? Okay. It's a movie, right. and it's a prequel. So it's post um, Winter Soldier, pre Infinity War. Okay. So after she releases all the information out into the world right. about Hydra and Shield and everybody and all that stuff, so right. it's after that, and it's the ramific ramifications for that. Right. Okay. So I'm f we'll get into it, but um, I. I'm interested to see kind of how this plays with the audience since it's a prequel to the current time table. I don't know. <laughs> Are we going to Budapest? That's all I really care about. Uh, <laughs> you and I remember Budapest very differently. That's very true. Um, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Black Widow trailer reaction and go. I used to have nothing. Cool. Okay. And then I got this job. This family. Yeah. But nothing lasts forever. That nah, did just don't do it. Tear. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. So what are you going to do? I've lived a lot of lives. But I'm done running from my past. Oh, cool. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So we're we gonna talk like grown-ups? Is that what we are? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it's good to see you too, sis. What brings you home? All right. <laughs> we have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. Whoa. Lucky uh, us. Look at the white suit. One thing's for sure. It's gonna be a hell of a reunion. What? Fast master. Fast master. Still fits. <laughs> Family. Mm. Back together again. You got fat. <laughs> Family dinners. <laughs> That's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. Dun, dun, dun. And no stinger. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. No stinger. You, the, usually the Marvel movies have some kind of like yeah. capper at the end of their trailer. Yeah. But it's still early, you know. They are, are calling this the teaser trailer. Right. Uh, but it is the trailer, or at least parts of the trailer that they showed at San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. Okay. When they announced that, all that. That no one. But the people there got to see the, the six thousand assholes who were actually in the, <laughs> the room, right. um, and the few that like you know pirated it online. Um, okay, I have my thoughts, but what do you, what do you think? Um, so it looks good. I knew that was her sister. I knew it was going to be her sister. Um, I don't. I'm not super versed in her lore, right, so right. Um, I'm assuming like. Her whole family is like superheroes. It's uh, so Florence Pugh from Fighting with the Family yeah. and Little Women yeah. and, and stuff. They she, they both ended up in the same school or right, whatever. Right. So um, uh, uh, I, again, I'm not f completely versed in the Black Widow comic book lore or whatever, but uh, she's the one who picks up the mantle of Black Widow after um, Natasha leaves. Okay. In, in the comic. So um, they're both kind of on the same page. And then Rachel Weisz plays the other sister, the older sister, and she oh, becomes the big bad. Okay. She's the, so she's she ends up being the bad too. guy. Yeah. And then David Harbour is? 
is so he's Red Guardian. He's essentially the Russian version of Captain America. Okay. So hence the suit kind of looks the same and <laughs> same Cody fingers so, uh, and stuff. But okay. But other, I mean it. But it's got a bunch of people we really like in it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. What? How? The uh, a lot of people online today have been saying it's got a kind of a born feel to it. Um, like the born universe movies with yeah, I was, spy drama. I was kinda. thinking more the one um, with Charlize their own um, atomic blonde, atomic blonde. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of more of that feel or um, what was the one that we, I want to say black swan and that wasn't it. The one that red we sparrow, red sparrow with Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people thought that red sparrow was, the prequel for right for that because of the ballerina and yeah. stuff like that yeah and just the, the fight scenes felt um yeah familiar. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that makes sense um uh, uh taskmaster is the guy who pops up out of the tank and has the arrow and stuff and, in the armor in the armor and stuff and he's the going to be the big bad in this movie and he's kind of the big bad throughout the kind of the in and out bad guy in the in the Bl Black Widow series okay, and stuff. Right. Um, but you have Scarlett Johansson, you have Florence Pugh, you have Rachel Weisz, you have David Harbour, you have William Hurt, who's um, uh, uh, Thaddeus Ro uh, Thaddeus Russ, who was the general in, in yeah. Hulk and everything. Yeah. So yeah, that connected. Instead of having Fury be the connective tissue right. here, you have right. that because Fury is on the run ish. Undercover, undercover, underground. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's supposed to be dead, dead. you know, yeah, uh, and yeah. stuff. So, uh, so <laughs> there's a lot of um, uh, a lot of people complain today that like um, it looks cool, whatever. But I know what happens to her, so I don't have any stakes in the game. But with this being the first movie moving into Phase Four, this is going to be the prelude to stuff that's down the, that's going to come down. Right? The line. Yeah, it could have other things in it that right. will show up and that's later kind of what i'm thinking that they're going to do uh florence playing um elena um and she's elena's the one who takes over the black widow mantle further down the line okay and florence is what 25 or 26 or whatever so she could play that yeah. character if, for if that old t yeah. for 10 15 years it they keep kind of like they're not coming out and saying it, and people are kind of doing the whole pointing the fingers. But Young Avengers seems like a like kind of the direction that could be where they go down the line. They've been talking about a lot about how the next version of the Avengers is going to look very, very different, obvious for obvious reasons. Right. Um, but they um, they've got the next Black Widow in this movie. They have. Um, Katie Bishop in the Hawkeye series, right. who is a young Avenger. Um, uh, Scott Lane's daughter, whose name is escaping me right now, uh, is essentially giant woman. She's called something else, but she's like, she's like uh, uh, Colossus. She's the, the big okay. muscle and stuff like that. Because her dad can get tiny. So and she so she can get big. big. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and Comics. and um, uh, Vision in the West Coast Avengers, who actually ends up being kind of one of the, the guys who's the elder statesman of the young Avengers, um, is gray. He gets the Mind Stone ripped out of his head in the comic, and then so that kind of happens in the movie. And so, right. yeah. so I'm, yeah. So there's, there's all kinds of stuff that they're kind of laying the groundwork for. And I think that this is going to be the movie that's really going to, like, the post credit scenes get something, be something big, and there's going to be some the Tesseract or something like that's going to be the, the thing that is going to be brought up. And that's going to be like the catalyst to get into phase four. And yeah, probably not the Tesseract. Cause no, we're, no, but we're a Tesseract with... kind of okay. MacGuffin kind okay. of thing. Okay. Um, the other thing too is the MCU as a whole is right now four and a half, four years ahead of us. Right. In the story process. Right. And so we need <laughs> to spend some time going like, essentially killing time <laughs> right right so, so that you, it can, we so, can catch up so you can go back and tell a story like this yeah. you can give a female character that ha should have gotten a, a movie 
yeah. by our standalone long movie a long time ago, time ago and yeah. stuff. And you now you have all that and you can just like go forward and yeah. stuff. And so. so the fight scenes looked um, pretty amazing. So I'm, I'm excited about yeah. that. Yeah. Like yeah. you were saying, the um, Atomic Blonde. Atomic Blonde, yeah. And and it'd be cool if they do a bunch of like one cut or long cut yeah. kind of fight scenes. Yeah, like, atomic, like the stair scene yeah. in atomic bomb yeah, yeah. yeah yeah and then yep. the one thing that um nobody really talked about today and i'm surprised that nobody did but her jumping off of whatever is right falling and apart it with no falling. parachute yeah and and like you know my my first reaction if anybody complains about that is she's fought aliens like at this point in time her concept of what danger is is well and she's always kind of had a death wish you know, she doesn't Definitely necessarily care, care yeah, yeah. about what happens to herself. Yeah. Um, just looking at IMDb, they've got Robert Downey Jr. as rumored. Um, that would be he could shoot in in the suit and and rescue her at the last minute. Yeah, and, yeah. And take her. That, I I think that cheapens. I don't think this movie cheapens Black Widow's sacrifice in Endgame, but I think that scene cheapens. Well, she's got to do something. She can't just hit Earth. Right, right. Um, one of the theories that was floating around today, which makes a ton of sense, is um, the Winter Soldier shows up for some kind of, speaking of cameos kind of thing. Yeah. She, maybe not necessarily that scene, but shows up as some kind of cameo to set up f kind of what's going to happen with yeah, that. I don't know if that works, though, because he's still rehabilitating in Wakanda. Uh, well, not, actually, after they, Winters, not after Winter's... No, he's frozen. No, that's Civil War. This is this movie happens before Civil War. This movie happens after Winter Soldier. So he's still trying to figure himself out at the end of that one. And then in Civil War, they go find him in right, right. Belarus right. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be kind of an interesting thing, to ha like a, like an interesting kind of story to have him just show up while she's trying to figure stuff out and he's trying to figure stuff out. And so yeah. it yeah. could be like a really interesting... He is not listed. He is not TV. listed. And I'm, I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts, because that's a saying... That will get some random cameos in this movie, like Winter Soldier, yeah. like Iron Man, that yep. kind of thing. So that is our thoughts. We could go on for MCU stuff for a, a while, and we're not even to the freaking shows yet. Uh, so that is our thoughts on the Black Widow teaser trailer. Please let us know in the comments what you thought. L like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Help us out by following us on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. All the information and links are in the description down below. And until next time, if we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.